What's going on everybody, David here. So today we're gonna to go back a couple of days ago, Trump had an interview with KNBC15 and he answered a question about more stimulus payments. So we're gonna go over that first and then I'm gonna analyze exactly what he's saying because I think he's given some clues away when he, when he talks. But first off on this channel, we talk about personal finance for travelers. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get future updates on my videos. So the first thing I wanna do is play the video so you can hear what he says. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about what he's saying and where they are in the negotiation because he's kind of given some clues away when it comes to that. All right, let's check out the video. Millions of Americans are hurting financially. Will you support a second stimulus payment? I would do that, and we expect to do that at some point in the very near future. We're coming up with some concepts now, and we expect it to be bipartisan. We think we're going to get it done. So you hear her ask about a second stimulus payment, and he says, I quote, I would do that. And we expect to do that at some point in the very near future. Now, this is interesting that he says a very near future. Because if you're thinking about it, and we've talked about this, and the White House has come out and said that it's not going to be until July, and now we're finding out that it's probably going to be more like late July before they do formal negotiations, but he's saying the very near future. And that means that he might be talking to Mitch McConnell right now and telling him, hey, look, you guys can't go on recess in July, like July 3rd through through the 20th, they're gonna be on recess. So he might be telling them, hey, you guys can't do that. I can't afford to do that. Have you seen my, my poll numbers? All this good stuff. And so, although it's not the president's, he doesn't have the power to make them stay, Mitch McConnell has the power to say, okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay in session. So he might be putting that in Mitch McConnell's ear saying, hey, we, we have to get something done for the American people. It will look good for me and this and that. It'll also look good for Mitch McConnell because Mitch McConnell is running for reelection. So that might be something that happens. So we might not see them go on recess. And you have some Congress people right now saying that, you know what, we shouldn't be going on recess. There's too much stuff that's going on right now. We have police reform. They need to pass something on police reform. They have the, the coronavirus issues right now. They also have the stimulus package that, they, that they're talking about. So there might be a situation where they don't go on recess. And if you look at the calendar, you have the Senate leaving July 3rd, and they'll be back on July 20th. But that next week, so July 7th, the House is in session for a week. So that would be the perfect opportunity for the Senate to come back and they, they can be in session from July 7th through July 10th with the House and that way they can get some stuff done. So you might, this might be a clue here that, that they're talking right now about not having this, this recess because it's just not, it's not appropriate. And I, and I agree and I think a lot of people agree with that. It's not appropriate for them to go on recess for 17 days while we have all this stuff that's up in the air right now. Uh, so that might be something that you see, and they can always make that up. If they wanted to take off more time, let's say another week in, in August, which if the Senate takes a week off in August, they pretty much won't be there the whole time in August. But that's okay. Like As long as they're getting stuff done prior to leaving, I don't see there being an issue with that. But that that is a clue. When you hear stuff like that, when you hear the, the president say, yeah, you know what, the very near future, you really have to start thinking, okay, if you're saying very near future, that we're, we're talking about, we might not even see a stimulus check until August uh, based on what, we, what we've what we already heard. So maybe there's some negotiations that are going on that, that's gonna try to expedite this, which I think would be a good thing. All right, so the other thing that he says, we're coming up with some concepts now and we expect it to be bipartisan. Okay, so we already know as far as the second stimulus payment, we already know what the House has said. They've already approved the HEROES Act. They sent it over to the Senate. The Senate is sitting on it right now, but we know that that's a $1,200 stimulus check. So we already know that how the House feels about it. So the fact that he's saying that we're coming up with some concepts. So that means if they're coming up with some concepts, that means there's some different things going on. It's not just going to be this $1,200. It could be something else. Now, she specifically asked him second stimulus payment. Second. She didn't say stimulus payment. She said second stimulus payment. So we already know what the first stimulus payment was. It was a stimulus check. So now if she's saying the second stimulus payment, that would, in my mind, that would mean another stimulus check. Now, Trump could be thinking, okay, well, we're talking just stimulus payments. We're talking about maybe payroll tax cuts and things like that. That would be a stimulus payment. Uh, so uh, she she specifically asked him second, and that's good that she said second stimulus payment. 
but we'll we'll see how that is interpreted by him as far as what I'm saying is if we don't get another stimulus check, is he going to backpedal and say, no, I was just talking about stimulus payments to the American people, and that's why we're doing payroll tax cuts. Now, she, he's also saying bipartisan. We know that Democrats are not on board when it comes to the payroll tax cut. We know that there's some Republicans that are not on board when it comes to the payroll tax cut. So what does that mean? Does that mean that they're still going to go with that? Or does that mean that they're going to pull away from that and go with the, the second stimulus check, like like she asked him? So that that that's going to be interesting. But the fact that he's saying that this is something that, that, that he thinks is going to get done. Like at the very end, he says, yeah, I think this is going to get done. By, by him saying that, we know we know Trump, right? He is the, you know, in his mind, he's the master negotiator and the art of the deal and all this stuff. He gets things done. So that might be a reason why the Senate might not go on recess. They might stay and get things done before they go on their recess. And he, I mean, Trump doesn't want to lose that, that, that persona of being the, the master negotiator. So uh, it's interesting that he answered this question. It was obvious that looking at this, and this is one of those things where it's you just set up and he walks by and you have like five minutes to talk to him. He obviously knew the the questions before this interview. You could tell just by his response. Uh, there was no time in between. I know they edited it up, but there was still no time in between. He, like he knew what he was going to say already. So he had already received these questions and you could see that things weren't I mean, you had a, a boom mic in the in in the shot. You had a bag in the background, so you could see it was just like a hurried thing. But um, yeah, that it's it's just interesting that they're asking him these questions, and he's he's willfully answering these questions because he knows he's in a situation right now. If you watch my video, I'll post a link here when I talked about the polls. Right now, he's down in the polls, and so he's watching that. And he knows that something needs to happen. And the sooner, the better, because we're, he's losing voters as, as time goes on, because there are people who are struggling right now and they're wondering what's going on in Congress. And they're not just looking at Congress. They're looking at the president saying, Hey, you are the master negotiator. Why aren't you getting these guys together and getting, getting something done? So. Uh, we'll have to see what happens in the future, but I just thought I might put that out there and show you guys a video and talk a little bit about it because it does it does show us some stuff that's going on and and how he is how he's thinking when it comes to another stimulus payment, which which was addressed there, and then also as far as what that will be. Like we we know that that twelve hundred dollars it might not just be twelve hundred dollars; it might be more than that. And I talked a little bit about that. So we might be looking at more than that. Now, monthly payments, I don't know if that's going to be a reality, but we might see more than $1,200. All right, guys, let me know down below. Let me know what you think about his answers to the question. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. And remember, people, it's your money. It's your money. Talk to you guys later. Bye.